All right, so we go into the printer settings first to con and uh, print mode, and we're going to tell it to do polar. And now you'll see that it's round, so I'll click apply, OK. And then I'm going to actually uh, load a file. This is our famous twisted VOS. OK, and we will go to simulation mode, normal simulation. And now we're going to go ahead and run the simulator here. And this is your print bed, rotary print, print plate. And this is the arm turning. And that is exactly how it will be printing. Those are the motions uh, simulated here. And I'll move it forward so you can actually see it work. on a more complicated shape. There you go. Very nice. Yep. Hi, this is Carl at High Rail, and we wanted to share some of our progress on our Polar printer. Uh, it's been eight years in the DreamWorks, so it's nice to see it coming to fruition. Um, we'll give you a quick overview. So basically this printer works on the concept of a rotating print bed and then a arc for a print head. And uh, the print bed goes up and down, which you can see right here would be your print bed. And we can lift it up and down by uh, running this motor here. You can see it's moving up. And then this motor spins it. And this one right here is your chuck for your head, which we will demonstrate a little bit more in just a minute. So it's very modular. The upper platen was designed to be able to be sealed and to run at high pressure. Uh, we'll now install it on the frame over here. And then you can see just exactly a little better how it will work when it's... So the module gets installed into its mounting place. Careful not to cut your fingers off. And this is your uh, print disc. This is for mounting the head. I will take one of our nice heads that we have here. That's a laser. We'll use it for our initial testing because it's easier than printing. Uh, for most or some of our work, we are not just doing polar printing because that's interesting, but not the end of the rainbow. Uh, we will enclose this. So this allows several different types of materials. This is a polycarbonate material. We have glass. We have stainless steel. You select the, the cover to create a sealed chamber if desired. You can put liquids such as water, carbon tetrachloride if you want to go heavier. Uh, you can go lighter with alcohols. So you can print in different material substances or, or immersible materials. Another thing you can do is we have a vacuum. So you can pull a vacuum and literally print as if you were in outer space. We also have the ability to backfill it with different gases. So you could put in helium if you wanted high thermal transfer, argons for inert atmospheres, um, different things like that. Temperature. Temperature. Yes, that's a good point. We have one model of this that allows you to reach uh, very high chamber temperatures. Um, I tested it to 300 C. The materials when you buy the stainless steel version of this are compatible to over 450 degrees centigrade. So if you want to do direct printing of glass material, for instance, or do research on that, uh, we're not selling that process, but we're helping people develop it for themselves this would be an ideal solution for it. Okay, um, that's it. I hope that you're having a great day and look forward to showing you this functioning and printing with it over the next month. Happy holidays.